Okay, so we're gonna make a quick start on the little 13 horsepower Bayer engine. I have the blowtorch running already. It has to run for about 10 minutes before I can try to start it. And uh, you also may know that this is the engine that can run at zero RPM. It doesn't make a full revolution, it's just standing and bouncing back and forwards. Uh, so we're gonna try that today. I ain't gonna connect any cooler. The cooling tank is over there. I'm gonna connect that today. I'm just gonna make a short run and uh, see if we can get it to run at zero RPM. Maybe I can explain a little bit about this engine before. We have 10 minutes. Heating up the hot bolt you see in there. It's missing a little lid here. Uh, I have made a casting for that one. I haven't uh, finished it yet. Uh, so it's made of cast iron, as it should. Well, that's original. Here we have the water pump. So the cooling water goes in here, pumps into the cylinder and goes up on the top. And back to the cooling tank again. Yeah, so this is a Bayer hot bolt engine made in Vimmerby, Sweden in 1928 and it has 13 horsepower at 400 rpms. I have tuned the governor on this one down a little bit uh, so it doesn't spin that fast. So this is the fuel tank. We can check if there is any fuel in. I'll lift it. Oh yes. I mean, you can run this engine on pretty much anything, like diesel, oil, uh, sunflower oil, uh, fish oil, practically anything that burns. Okay, now so the blowtorch has been running for almost 10 minutes. <coughs> I think I'm gonna explain the lubricator on this too. Uh, so here is the lubricator. This is an older engine, so you have multiple tubes going down the cylinder and lubricates the piston, the bearings, and yeah, pretty much everything. The main bearings is a grease cup here that you have to fill up with grease sometimes and screw in so you're pressing the grease into the bearing. There is a small oil cup that lubricates the center on the shaft for the water pump and we have a similar one here for the fuel pump. Here is the governor. It is a centrifugal governor with weights that changes the amount the eccentric uh, is eccentric. <laughs> I don't know how to say it but that's how it works. So it makes the stroke smaller or longer for the fuel pump. And the lubricator, here you see how much oil you have in the lubricator tank. And here you see the last tubes, one for every lubrication point. And when the engine is running, this is rocking back and forth. So this spins like this. I'm gonna show you that in a minute when we start it. And you want to see oil grips here. So if I turn this manually, you should see all the oil grips gripping down to all the lubrication points. It's very important that they do. So that works. And before you start an engine like this, give it a couple of revs. So it's all lubed up. That's okay. We're gonna walk to the other side. Uh, yeah, here is the cooling tower for this. So the water comes out in the top there and just pouring down these plates, losing some heat down in the barrel and in the engine again. As I said, we ain't gonna connect that one today. Here is the reed valve for the intake air. It's just a piece of leather. You can see here. Very simple. Just pieces of thick leather. This is like a check valve, a reed valve. 
And in here you have the crankshaft, it's pretty big, I don't know the stroke, but it is big. And there is the, the bearing, that is a Babbitt cast bearing. And the way that that bearing gets its oil is one of those tubes presses oil down to there, goes in. I'm gonna see if I can put the light on. Ah, there you see it. See this ring here? The oil drips into this ring. And that ring is connected to the crankshaft which have an oil channel in it that goes to the bearing and that lubricates the bearing. In there you can see the piston. Uh, I don't know the bore, I can measure it later and put it in the description of this video. I can also calculate the stroke while I'm doing it. There you can see the piston moving. And then we have the fuel tank, as I said. The fuel tank goes fuel filter right there, goes straight down to the fuel pump, which is just a piston and one check valve here and one here. And straight to the injector. Here is a little bleeding screw that you can use. So if you open that and manually working the fuel pump, you should see that. Oil and that one. Here is a decompression valve you can open. This should be closed when starting these. This is just for venting old air and uh, fuel mixture out if it's too rich. Yeah, the bulb is getting pretty warm. I think we're all about ready to start this thing up. I'm gonna hook the camera up and I'll see you in a couple of seconds. Okay, so now we're gonna try to start the engine up. I think it's warm enough. It has been heating for around 15 minutes now. So what I'll do, I'm gonna open the pressure valve. So I get some fresh air.
I adjust this, it should be running a little bit quicker. There we have it, running at zero RPM, almost. <laughs> A little bit high. Ah, there we have it, running at zero RPM. The piston is just, just rocking back and forwards. Because this is a two stroke engine, this can be done. If you tune your fuel pump down so much that it's just firing so little that it ain't gonna be able to make a full turn. So, uh, zero revolutions per minute running engine, I think. Uh, that's a question about how, how, you, how you are gonna see things. Hear the intake air sucking in the lead valve. Okay. So if I now engage the fuel pump, tune it up, it should be running faster again. Okay, I hope you understand why this engine can run at 0 pm now, because it was a bit of doubt in my other video, the first one with this engine running at 0 pm. Uh, but it's really no trick to it, it's just tuning the fuel pump down. And uh, 
because it is a two-stroke engine? It's absolutely possible. So thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe and uh, I will upload more videos. Now the summer starts to come so all my old engines gonna come out and uh, I'm gonna hook up a little bit of cooling so I can run them for a longer time and so on. Yeah, so bye for now.